Hey guys, this is The Awesomer here, and I'm here to present you with a review about my new Amscope microscope. Now, I just got this on Amazon for around $180. Um, I got this a few months ago. I thought I'd do a review on it now because this is a great microscope. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever, so let's go ahead and unwrap this. Alright, so I've unwrapped my microscope, and now let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, it's pretty, pretty inclusive. You get everything you need to start up the microscope in the set. However, you don't get any prepared or non-prepared slides and slide covers. I bought this separately. This is also by um, Amscope, and it's a set of 50 prepared slides. Uh, inside there's like human blood, uh, leaves, um, ew, um, insect parts, and um, dog and other animal organs. So um, let's just look and see. All right, so this microscope does not need a power cable. However, it does need to recharge. It's a bat. There is a battery inside, and you use this cord and you recharge it. There's a light here, which will turn green when it is fully recharged, and then you can use it fully without a uh, a charger or a power cord. Now, uh, this took me a little while to figure out, but I realized that there's actually, if you look inside, yeah, you can see it from here. There's a, um, ah, it's so heavy. There's this part, which you can adjust here. Uh, it's sort of hard to get it. So like this, and then like that, and it goes back down. So the lower, the closer this gets, so the smaller the black circle gets, the more focused the image the um, image, the image, I don't know what I'm saying, um, the image is, but it'll also be less bright, so if you can't see anything, then you open this up, and it will provide more light, but at the same time a blurrier image through the um, eyepiece, so it's just, every time, you're just seeking a balance between light and focusness. Is that a word? Nah, you guys know. So, so, inside the microscope, the focusing, these are the two focusing knobs, if you can see them properly, here, the two focusing knobs, this is the fine focusing knob, um, rough focusing knob, then again, if, you, if you're watching this, you probably know what they are already, so, right now, I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever, this is the normal 10 times microscope, this is the normal 10 times, it's sort of hard, there is a, um, a um, pointer or a needle like that prick you see well not a prick but like a line you see however on the 16 times eyepiece which I have on this is included with a kit is the 16 times eyepiece there is no um, pointer or whatever you want to call it so yeah just if you care about that kind of stuff then you know now but this is focused by uh, moving the um, platform. I know my I was sort of surprised by this because my school had one that was um, you this this big massive like um, the three um, nozzles or the three uh, what do you call them the um, the different magnifiers like the forty times there's a hundred times then there's four hundred times this one's a hundred times this one's on the other side this one is the four hundred times. Now the light is on. Now, I'd suggest you keep the light on full because the light is not very bright. It is an LED, but it is not very bright at all. So you might want to keep that in mind. But now, take a slide out. Let's look at a mushroom. You can see properly through that. You can see like that little pink blurry thing. That's a slice of a mushroom. So I have no troubles with this focusing. Everything came perfectly well. Um, there were no scratches. Everything um, focused well. Let's see.
Alright, so now it is indeed focused, but I'm not sure if I can get this into the camera. I'll try my best to sort of get the um, image in. It doesn't seem to want to work. Uh, I think I'll just cut this. Well, anyways, there's the light inside. I'll upload a few um, images uh, later, and I'll upload them into the video because obviously I can't. You can't see anything on here, so I'll upload the images taken um, into um, either the. Um, I'll make it into a public um, drive document actually, and then I'll um, I'll put a link in the description, and then you can just check out all the pictures there because well. I can't really put them into a YouTube video from an iPhone, and, well, if anyone knows how to do that, tell me, because I don't. Uh, anyways, so, onwards, this is at, um, uh, 40 times 16, I don't know what 40 times 16 is, so it's like 400 and then 240, that's 640 times, so this is at 640 times, and then, of course, this would be at 100, uh, 1,600 times, no, 160 times. No, wait, what did I say? Let's see. This is times 100, or... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is times 4, and this is times 16. So that would make it 40. So that would make it times 64. This is times 64, and this is times 160. So at times 160, you can see the mushroom cells individually, while at times um 64, you wouldn't be able to. And then at times 400, again, this is when the image is so dim that you actually have to adjust the bottom piece. And when it gets brighter, you can actually see the cells. Of course, I'll put images in the shared um, document. And so, on with the review. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. It works perfectly. I am a beginner microscope user. I actually just bought this for fun. I don't actually have any purpose for it until I get into high school, that is. I'm in grade 8. But, um, so far, it's been easy to use. There have, I have no negative implications on this whatsoever. Um, it came with everything needed. The only thing confusing about this was probably the fact that there's a tiny screw here to change um, eyepieces. There's a tiny screw there. There's a screw there, like, right in there that you have to sort of tight un well, untighten but never take it fully out because I almost lost it. When you take it fully out, it just sort of falls off. So you either have to have like a hand here while you're doing it. Or you have to like just loosely open it so that you can take the eyepiece out and replace it with another eyepiece. 